Hey everyone, this is Steven Strong with the Cast Iron Cookware channel. We can find information to help you better collect, restore, and use cast iron cookware. Today we took a road trip to South Pittsburgh, Tennessee to the 2019 National Cornbread Festival. And I'm telling you what, we had a good time. And we took a lot of video and some pictures, so we're going to be sharing those with you coming right up. Chicken on a stick. Yes, Man, that looks good. The smells here is just amazing. I just can't hardly get over. I'm really getting hungry. Here we go, Cornbread Alley. I like it, I like it. That's what I like. <laughs> hey, about that. I like cornbread. Y'all yeah. like, like cornbread too. Yeah, we love cornbread. When well, you're in the right place. I ask myself this every year. Why would anybody come to a National Cornbread Festival and not go to the National Cornbread Alley? <laughs> I mean, you know, this should be the first place that you can About to go in the Cornbread Alley. Smells good. And what is this right here? Biscuit fiesta. Biscuit fiesta. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Well, what's the name of this one right here? Italian pesto fritters. Awesome. Sounds good. Well, which one is it? What's the flavor of this one right here? Ham and cheese. Ham and cheese. Looks really good. 
Thank you. Gingerbread cornbread. Gingerbread cornbread. That's the first for me. And it looks good. It is good. It smells good. I can tell you that. It's War Eagle French cornbread. War Eagle yes, French sir. cornbread. Um, it has raisins, uh, orange juice, and cinnamon. Okay. Thank you. East Indian. East Indian. How do you make that? You make that? Uh, it's got uh, coriander, turmeric, and cumin in it. Chicken. That smells good. Oh, it's, ooh, it's the best I've had. I can't oh, wait good. to get over there and try it. <laughs> Thank you. Y'all have a good day. It's got green peppers in it. Hi, how are you? Welcome. This is Latin, this is Latin American hominy. Awesome, thank you. You're very welcome. You guys have a good day. Now, what flavor is this? Rockin' 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 Garbanzo Cornbread. Awesome. <laughs> Old English Jalapeno Hush Puppy. Old English Jalapeno Hush Puppy. Got a little kick in there. Got a little kick in there. Sounds good. Thank you. This is what I was excited about. Got a little bit of flavor to it as far as spice. I'm going to try a little bit of every one of them. Some good stuff. I know you don't want to just watch me eat, but this is all really good. Okay, we're in the tent, finishing off our cornbread. And it's a lot of cornbread to eat, I can tell you what. Well, I can say this, I like the cornbread that was deep fried, a lot like hush puppies. They're a little more greasy, not really good for your heart, but I think they're the best. Especially the ones with a little bit of spice. Okay, we're going into the Lodge Factory Tour. I've never been on this tour before, so we're really excited about it. So, let's check this place out. Awesome. 100 viewers, still cooking. It's a nice lodge for the Park logo. These are black locks. This is part of the Legacy series. They have the bunt pan or the fluted pan. A different. Boundary tour this way. About to go in the factory to check it out. Oh, 
Okay, we're in here at the Lodge factory about to go for the tour. You see the big conveyor behind us. There's no telling how many pieces of cast iron that's went up that conveyor. <laughs> okay, we're looking at some scrap over here. A lot of times they have pieces that are bad and they'll run them back through the system. And here we go. This is a huge building, and I'm sure this is just part of it. We're only going to probably have access to a small part, so I'm sure it goes on way further than what we see here. This is part of the mold. This is compacted sand. Now it's been pressed under so much pressure that it's hard as a rock. We're standing right here in front of the disomatic machine number one. And we have number two to my to your right. This is where they compress the molds to make the cast iron. This is the side view of our disomatic machine. This is one of them. This is DISA number one, and it's part of their disomatic system. That's what they use to compress their sand molds to make the molds for the cast iron. We're standing in front of auto pour section number one. This is where the iron is poured into the mold. It comes out of the disomatic machine, the molds do, and then they pour the iron into the mold right here. And this vat, this large vat, it's going to be full of iron when it's heated up. And it'll come out after it's poured. I believe it will come down this shaker conveyor and shake off all the sand. By the time it gets to the end, it's fairly clean. Then they'll do a few more things to kind of clean it up. So I'm sure it comes out of this, when they pour it, I'm sure the pieces go down this conveyor. And that conveyor, I believe, will shake the pieces till it separates the iron from the mold. And then when it gets down to the end, they kind of further clean the cast iron. Where they pick up all their metal from they have the scrap they also have the pig iron on down now they'll put so much pig iron and so much scrap together they want to get the right mix then they'll test it and if it needs a little added of one or the other they'll add the other end so if they inspect a piece or they inspect something they got cracks or issues with them they'll throw them back into the scrap and that's what we have here all kinds of skillets dutch ovens and whatnot that's uh, going to be going back through. So there's little waste when it comes to this product. Okay. Now after the pieces come down the shaker conveyor, they'll go into this huge drum right here. By the time it goes to this drum, it's pretty much clean from all the heavy debris. Of course, they'll still clean it more as it gets through. Here's the end view of that drum. As that drum turns and the pieces come down through there, those ribs on the inside of that drum knock all the uh, debris loose from the cast iron. So when it comes out the end, it'll get it, it'll fall into this shaker conveyor at the bottom, and it'll continue to shake and knock off even more as it goes. Then it'll go through this system right here. It'll come out and go up that conveyor right there. All of the debris will fall down through these small holes into this part right here. There is conveyors everywhere. They have different size of abrasives. This is a little more coarse right here. This is what they use to uh, shoot at the cast iron, kind of like a bead blaster. It's a little more coarse than this one. 
This is a little more fine right here. And then when it hits the uh, uh, cleaning machine, or rubbed in the cleaning machine, it has the same thing. This is one of the shots. Yeah. And this hopper back here. It's kind of a bigger shot. When it hits it, it hits it, you know, pretty hard. Yeah. Well, they have the smaller shots right up here. Yeah. Progresses its way through the cleaning machine. Yeah. And this shot hits it. You know, it kind of just pulled out and tosses it. Yeah. It comes out, for example. Something like this. Yeah. It's a grinders. This one has a, a gate on it. It's a little grindy gate on it. Okay, so those are not shot at it. Those are just kind of bounced around. Yeah, they kind of drop off in there. I guess they describe this when they drop it off in there. And the machine kind of vibrates. It's kind of like an agitator, you know. Like a shaker? Well, an agitator. And then it's got uh, soap and stuff inside of it. Okay, that's part of the cleaning process. Yeah, that's part of the cleaning process. When it comes out, we hang it up. Over here, so it could be um, the next process. Yeah, okay. This is the season process. Okay. And that's when you see it's got, um, um, you know, where it comes out with it. You can see from the stories it's black. Yeah. It's like little uh, UFOs. <laughs> kind of like you see this guitar. Yeah. <laughs> Right here, hanging these pieces up as they come out of the vat after they've been agitated. Okay. Just a variety of all kinds of pieces large and small, all the way around and all the way up on the conveyor. And it looks like there's quite a few lines down through here. It looks like there's two or four lines. You got line A1, line uh, B1, A2, looks like four lines. That's a nice looking building right there. <laughs> we finally got back from the 2019 annual National Cornbread Festival in South Pittsburgh, Tennessee. And man, we had a great time. And I'm telling you what, we are war slap out. We had a good time. We met a lot of great people, seen a lot of very cool things. And I just hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you have, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And please don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way when new videos come out, you won't miss out. So thank you again for watching the Cast Iron Cookware channel.